just heard this song yesterday. It came up in my YouTube feed, and I saw the photo with the guys with the hats. And I was like, what is this? And man, was I in for a surprise. I never knew a cello and a banjo could sound so cool. And so uh, that's what we're doing. We're going to arrange this for guitar on, uh, on the guitar for what they're doing for the cello and banjo. So it's a really fun song. It's got that kind of rockabilly, bluegrass kind of vibe. And uh, kind of reminds me of that Tchaikovsky. Is it the Nutcracker? That dun 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 D7. It's just the cool way they play them that makes it sound the way it sounds. So you're going to thump the low E and then pluck the G, B, and E with your fingers. And then you're going to pluck the A string and then you're going to pluck the D, G, and B. So it's like... And you got to let the pressure off the strings. Just let it... Let your fingers come up off the fretboard. So then you're going to go down to F, you got 1, 3, 3 on the A and D, 2 on the G, 1 on the B and E, bar it, same pattern. Okay, and back to G minor, then we're going to go C minor, and on this one I like to play, uh, hit the A on 3, and then pluck the G, B, and E. Okay, then we're going to go back to, uh, or the C minor is going to be bar all of three from A down. Then you have five, five, four on the B. Okay, then back to the G minor. And then we're going to go to D7. Hit an open D. Then two, one, two. And back to G minor. So, real slow all together, you got. into the banjo part which we're going to do on guitar so you're going to put your uh, ring finger on d on the fifth fret bar g b and e with your index and you're just going to go down d g e b that's the pattern okay and then you're going to slide up to eight on the d and get seven on the g and then go back and get seven on the d five on the G. So you got Okay, and after he does that twice, he's gonna go he's gonna go to this F triad. Two on the G, bar one on the B and E. He's just gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. seven hit the open D and then have one on the B two on the E just twice and then open D three on D five on D so you got a uh, real slow second verse he does more of like a reggae thing he still I think he still thumps the bass but it's just more like a he just hangs out on the G B and E so there's no need to come back up and play it you can just okay and then the solo part the banjo solo we're just coming out of this G minor triad all right and we're just gonna go 10 11 12 E B G and you don't, you do not want these ring ringing together. You want a very staccato. Okay, so you have nine or ten, eleven, twelve. Then you're gonna go thirteen on the B, eleven on the B, twelve on the G. 
So you got, that's the first pattern, okay? Then you're going to come back to 10, 11, 12 and go. Okay, and after 10, 11, 12, you have 11 on the high E, 13 on the B, 12 on the G. So all together you got. All right, and the next two, you're just going to repeat the first two you did. So it'll just be, that'll be the next two. So you got. And that's where it changes. Now it'll go 11 on the B, it'll go. That's the next phrase. So we're going to go 11 on the, on the B, twice on 12 on the G, 10 on the B, 10 on the G, twice 12 on the G. So you got. everything. Right. And he does it again a second time. I think it's like 95% the same. He might end it on two different notes. I, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing though for the most part. And then the rhythm's the same throughout. Same chords. Alright, so just have fun. Practice slow.